Um, you also put no. You put career first. No, I put career first. Why a career over a man for you? Um, just because. Mike, please. My, my, just because my experience with men hasn't been the best. Um, and the way that I was raised, you don't depend on a man because at any time I'm not comfortable with. You know what I'm saying? Fully depending on a man. At any time, he could tell you to get out of his house. He could tell you anything. So I always want to make sure that I have my own, regardless. Like, that's that's first. Secondly, he will come first, you know, or he'll come second. Just because I don't care how much money you have. Like, if I truly love you and all that, I don't care how much money you have. Like, that doesn't matter to me. Um, as far as my lifestyle goes, I tell my men everything up front. Like, this is what I do. I'm a dom. I'm a dancer. I'm a sexologist. I'm Can you tell era. me what a sexologist is? I was going to ask. I'm so, very interested. <laughs> <Thank you>. Yeah. <laughs> burning question okay. inside of me as Sorry. I was sitting here. <laughs> um, so basically, I will honestly say a, a sexologist is basically a therapist. If like to really like break it down, because I have to study people, I have to read body language. Um, but honestly, being a sexologist, so to speak, it's just people just talking to people. Like pe like I do lifestyle parties. Um, What's and, a, sorry? So. I'm a guy or a girl, mm -hmm. and I call you when I need sex. No, advice on sex? No, no, it could be advice. It could be a way of direction. A lot of people have sexual fantasies, for one. They have sexual things that they want to do with their partner, mm -hmm. whether it's a girlfriend, whether it's a husband, whether it's a wife, whatever. But the main thing that people are afraid of is rejection. So I teach them how to be comfortable with But their... are you just talking to them or is there touching involved? No, I just talk to them. You no, just talk to them. I so people will call you talk. just therapy to talk about sex. In person. In person is more relatable, more personal and mm -hmm. everything like that. Does so... it happen in the club? No. Okay. No, not okay. the club. No. Uh -uh. So it's just a therapist that specializes in, in sex. In intimacy. I wouldn't even say sex because it's more than that. It's intimacy, it's seduction, mm -hmm. it's bringing the spark in your marriage. So you know no hand jobs? <laughs> so what did you say you had a, a degree sorry I'm, I'm a licensed sexologist so basically it's kind of like having yeah, how do you get licensed license. it's basically like becoming a, a real estate agent okay so you just a, get a license a I didn't know there was I honestly had never yeah, heard of this yeah it's okay. basically a two-year course you can go to anybody if you want you can pay for the course mm -hmm. and you just take the course that's it wow. it's so nothing I, super can I go to DeVry no oh <laughs> yeah. um, um but yeah, so that's basically what it is. Like, I just enjoy having people feel comfortable with their sexuality, feeling comfortable with whatever turns them on. It's not just about sex, it's about how you feel, you know? Did so. you grow up with your dad? No, I did not. Okay. No, I didn't. So, you, so but, that, some of that, I don't want need a man transferred a little bit from your no, mom's situation. I don't think that. I actually do not think that. Well, you said you were raised. I was raised by my mother. By my she mother, and she said, don't rely on a man. But I'm just saying that sometimes moms can it, transfer their trauma true, true. onto their I children. I do agree. However, I feel like I'm very different because I feel like it's a flaw of mine. I can be very callous, you know? So for me, I don't look at daddy issues. I don't look at, like, I don't look at shit like that. Like, mm -hmm. just because I was attracted to the erotic world, that has nothing to do with my daddy. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm, I'm not saying um, the erotic world. I just was curious yeah. about your perspective on men, like full stop. On men, honestly, I, I give everybody a chance until they prove me wrong. Mm -hmm. So whether it's men, whether it's female, but strictly men, I will say I have not had the best experience with men. You know, mm -hmm. I've only had one situation where I could say the man was incredible and I ended it. But why you um, end it? Just because we had other issues, he had a lot of mommy issues, a lot of codependency issues that I just was not prepared to handle, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I felt like if I wasn't in love with him anymore, I'm wasting your time where mm -hmm. you can meet somebody else that can give you that time. And I, I just wasn't ready. Um, mommy issues? Do yeah. I have mommy issues? No, you have daddy issues. I don't have daddy issues. I know, man. I don't. So <laughs> I guess when you say codependency, et cetera, like, does that mean like he wants to see you all the time? You want to hang out with you too uh, much? No, basically the oh. things that he was not getting from his mother, he was looking for me to do. Such as? But with men have to realize I'm not your mother. Like, <laughs> what did he want you to do? I... What were the duties he wanted to do that you had an issue with? Basically fix his trauma that his mother created. And I just was not, I wasn't ready for that. Explain that. Um, what does that mean? Okay, so I'm a nurturing woman. I am. Uh -huh. However, he, he wanted mothering nurture. Like his mother, okay, they're from New York. So New York is very hard, very aggressive. Yeah. They're not very nurturing at all. Yeah. Um, so his mother never told him that he loved her, none of, n like nothing like that. Um, 
but when it came to like certain views he kind of expected me to do what his mother would do and i'm not i'm not your mom even as a fiance girlfriend whatever i'm still not your mom but like specifically what would his mother have done like give me one example yeah, of a that's task. what i'm trying to get to okay. like was he like it's, read it's me a story before sleep. bedtime <laughs> like, put, yeah no. you know, tell me santa's real um, yeah he basically or was it like so he wanted to me to clean I cook. I love to cook. No, I know. I'm just saying. I, I, I we definitely an example. Um, okay, so basically, his childhood trauma. He wasn't told that he loved. Like he wasn't told by his mom that she loved him and, and shit like that. I mean, stuff like that. I'm sorry. Um, stuff like that. But it was like his mom was very mean to him. But it's kind of like even though he's looking at me for that nurturing effect, I'm still not your mom. You want that from your mom. I can't give that. So I, I love you. Saying I love, I love, you. love you. Yeah, like I can tell you I love you, but I'm not your mom telling you I love you. If that makes sense. Like, it's not the same thing. Like, even though I love that man completely, I'm still not your mother saying it. I don't know if that Did he sense. want you to, like, pretend to be his mom or he just wanted you to say I love <laughs> no, you? Not, <laughs> like, no, not... I tell him I love so him the whole time. Explain. It's so hard to explain. Like, yeah. Because you also did mention you're callous, by the way. I don't know if you I remember that saying callous. that. Yeah. I can be callous in certain ways, but if I love you, I'm not callous. No. It's, if I don't like you, I can be callous. Um, or I just want your money type Did he situation. want more affection? That you didn't give I gave him? him a lot of affection, but the fact that it didn't come from his mother, that's the type of affection that he was missing, that he expected me to bring, but I'm not your mom. I can't give you that affection. So See, it was they hard. See, an example, a hard example. You're just saying in general, which is a problem I'm not here. saying in general. I'm literally saying like, okay, I'm your wife, right? I love you. As my husband, I love you, right? Well, not me, but yeah. But mm -hmm. you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not your mother yeah. saying I love you. But you're looking at me like I wish you were my mother saying I love you. I'm, I can't be your mom. I can only tell you I love you. So he wanted breast milk, but you gave him <laughs> your milk. I gave him titty milk. I'm not your mom. Got like it. Okay. <laughs> I can't. Tomato, tomatoes. I can't be your mother, basically. You're looking for a mothering thing, and I'm yeah. your wife. I'm not your mom. Interesting. So it's, di it's two different kind of loves, basically. Like, there's a difference between a mother do you, loving... Do you, think, do you think that's something that could have just been talked through versus getting rid of a guy that uh, was treating you well? I didn't get rid of him for that. I didn't get rid of him for that. That's the number one thing you brought up. I mean, it okay. Is what you said. So, I know it is. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> it, it is. I'm sorry. Let me guess. He cheated. Huh? No, he didn't. No? He oh, was actually yeah. the first guy that I never had suspicions of him cheating. To this day, he loves me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, mm. But the emotional baggage that he was putting on me, I was, like, not ready for it. Okay. I, I really was not ready for it. And I was just being honest. Like, I love you, but I'm not ready for it. So you said that you, you were putting your career first also because you had bad yes. experiences with men, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think those bad experiences are directly attributed to your line of profession? Yes. I do. No. Oh. Absolutely. It's accountability. So, so wouldn't it be fair to say that, like, maybe you've just experienced bad men from your workplace? No. Because I wasn't always doing what I was doing. Okay. Um, I do think in some ways I may have, I may be too independent, honestly. Because not on purpose, I don't want to emasculate my man ever, and I never will. Okay. Um, But the way that I was raised, I kind of tell the man, like, I don't need you, but I'm not saying in a sense of, like, you're not shit, basically. Okay. Like, I'm just saying, like, I have my own if you decide to leave tomorrow. So, Which is, I actually wanted to cut to her because you kind of gave a little face when she said, like, she puts her man first. Yes, so, I don't agree with that. You don't agree that you made a face? No, I don't okay. agree with putting a oh, man first. Oh, you don't agree with no. putting a man first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you elaborate? Yes, I don't agree with putting a man first because when he leave you, then what? What exactly. you gonna have? Exactly. What, what you gonna have? If you put exactly. your all into a man, a man will leave you with shit mm -hmm. and bricks. Can I say shit? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, you good. Yeah. You, a go man ahead. will leave you with nothing but shit and a bag. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like you gotta have your own everything. So why would I put a man first? Sorry, when you when say this is my sorry, life. I'm so not cool. When you say <laughs> shit, sorry. when you say shit and a bag, yeah. Because you just slow that down for me. I promise you, I'm like, I am so not hip. <laughs> Um, yeah. When I mean shit in the bag, I mean like your stuff in the bag and you on your way. Mm -hmm. He already got the next girl in the yeah, house. Like, exactly. I don't play those type of games. Okay, exactly. so you guys are specifically talking about, so you're assuming people just don't get married because obviously the court systems favor women. Actually, women will get everything if yeah. a guy no, gets up and I'm leaves. Saying, okay, so, so I heard somebody else say like, oh, like the house and blah, 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 and then you'll have nothing. I'm like, actually... But in the current environment of what happens to men in courtrooms, you'd have pretty much everything. But the man got to want to marry you. These men ain't yeah. getting married. So that's it. Days. You're talking He's about, so people. you're basically saying, like, you could potentially be with the person that doesn't want to marry you, yes. as, but you should just never be with the person that doesn't want to marry you, was what I would say. Like, if, yes. if you're talking to a guy and he never wants to marry you, then you that's a really... That's why I ended my last relationship. I yeah. felt like we were together <clears throat> for too long, and I asked him, like, hey, do you foresee us getting married? Do you see us continuing on? And he was like, no. 
<laughs> Straight up. No, but it's okay. I'd rather he was be honest. Yeah, like, that's yeah. true. At least he mm. told you. Like, no, no, for real, for real. Not even taking no her by. And I was just My like, okay, sad. baby. Baby, I love mm-hmm. you. That's 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 so there's you guys are painting that, a picture of not needing a man, but actually it's a circumstance where it's a, a specific kind of relationship no. where the guy doesn't want to mm-hmm. marry the woman. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, if a guy said, yes, I do want to marry you, then you wouldn't have this perspective of no, like, I'm putting, not I'm not putting a man first. Right? I would never put a man first because even though this is my life, you know what I'm saying? This is but my life. But if you were married... If I was married, I still want to put my husband first. Damn! This is my Wait life. a minute. Hold on. Whoa, hold on a second. Okay, so this is how I feel. I feel like you should keep, take care of yourself. How many girls so agree with her? Just out of curiosity. How I many halfway gr- agree with her. Okay. Halfway. Not, Anybody no. else agree? Okay. Because I just I, like, I just feel like that could be why he doesn't okay. want to get married, right? If you're saying, like, even if we get married, I'm putting myself first and I'm not putting you first. Mm. If I was a dude and I heard that, like, I would definitely say, okay, then but I'm not going to marry you. it's also about coming together. You know what I'm saying? It's also about a union. And I'm saying, mm-hmm. what I'm saying is there's a lot of people... I'm sorry. There's a lot of people mm-hmm. nowadays that doesn't understand what a union is. Well, if you, but I, I would argue potentially that you're that person because you just said if we got married, I would still put me first. That's would he not put a me union. First, though, would, would would a man put his wife first? Yes. Yes. So yes. You always, yes. Put, yes. What I'm saying union. is, yes. I feel like you should always put yourself first. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to a guy, you shouldn't put a guy over yourself. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So I would offer that in a very productive marriage there is no i i versus it's just we like i am in a partnership a team me and my husband i the concept of putting me first like even saying that just sounds so crazy to me in a marriage like i don't i've never thought it once it's just it's us it's the kids it's our family Mm -hmm. like i becomes we and so i would just say like maybe when you when you put that out there to a guy like I, 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 then they say, okay, maybe this isn't marriage material because she's telling me that even if I give her everything and I have the potential, then the risk of losing everything that she still would not make any sacrifices uh, in, you know, in her life. And I, I can agree with what you're saying. I can agree with your statements, but what I'm saying is I haven't came across a traditional man like that as of now. So I'm going to focus on myself. No, that's fine. I just wanted to, I just wanted to highlight that it's a specific kind of man that you're talking about. If a guy doesn't want to get married, but also fair, if you're saying the same thing, you're attracting that specific kind of a person. Do you know what I mean? If you're like, I'm all about me, me, then he's like, okay, cool. I'm all about me, me too. Can I backpack you know? off that? Just yeah, but like, I told my husband like day one, I want to get married. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I was like, no that. games. It's a we. <laughs> yeah. When are we getting married? Mm-hmm. When are we having kids? Right, we, yeah. we, 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 mm-hmm. we. Right I can, I can <laughs> agree with that, but then some people have different goals from other. My number one goal is to be a star, not to be married. Okay. Mm. Fair. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, but I'm saying if that might be why you're not getting married. Yeah, I, no. I don't care to get yeah, married. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's feeding okay. each other. I, like, I really don't wait, care yeah, to get married. Yeah, which is fine. I which is fine. Can I, I just... A question real quick. Who's your role model in the rap game? Onika, Tanya, Mirage. Yeah. Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, is that her, and her yeah. role model? Yeah. yeah. Onika, yeah. Tanya, Fantastic. Mirage. How many girls actually want to get married on the panel? Real quick. Oh, everybody. <laughs> what? Every, uh, oh, everybody? Okay. All right, just out of curiosity. All right. So for you, you said that you're putting career first question for you do you think after putting career, your career first being a dancer being involved in the work that you're mm-hmm. in that you're going to find your dream man at the end of the line yes because mm-hmm. my career doesn't define me because my career doesn't define me you know what i'm saying i'm a completely <laughs> different woman i can separate <laughs> my business and what i do from my actual first personal life laughing, right i was just about to exit no, what's funny in my throat. sorry my bad <clears throat> uh-huh. you fresh? Mm-hmm. sorry continue on <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so basically, like, how she was saying, like, when I do get into a relationship or an engagement, like, even with my ex-fiance, I told him, I tell everybody what I do up front. Like, look, I do this, that, and the third. Do you want to be a part of it or do you not? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can have the passwords on my phone. You can, anything to make you feel comfortable. And with my engagement, he was like, well, I don't want you to work. I don't want you to do anything. He had money. He took very good care of me. He didn't want me to work. I did because it's an emotional thing. I don't care about money. You know what I'm saying? Money is not a focal point for me. Okay. Um, I'd rather be taken care of emotionally, you know, and feel safe. That's my biggest thing. I want to feel safe. If I make you feel safe, make me feel safe. Okay. Because money can be made, spent every day, whatever. Do you think your job at all might be impacting how they value you? Yes and no. Mm-hmm. Um, I say yes because the second you hear, oh, I'm a sexologist, I'm a dancer, I'm a whatever I decide to tell you I'm on lifestyles, what do you think? You think escort or you think she's just another stripper girl type, oh. type situation? No. Yeah, Chris. I mean, it's honest. It's honest. I'm not, I'm not it's uh, honest. This nigga. Go ahead. <laughs> keep, keep going. Keep going. That's automatically what you think. 
you know, especially when you see certain girls that are in the lifestyle, being dancers, being escorts, being whatever, that's how they present and they don't care. Mm -hmm. But me, I have morals. I have values. My, my career does not define me. I'm a completely different woman mm. from what I am, from what I work. Me making money has nothing to do with well, the woman that I am. Don't you think that what you're willing to do for work does define your value though like like you should say like these are not my values i just do mm -hmm. this for work like Absolutely. you know i prostitute but these are not my values I'm i just not, do this for work yeah no i'm just giving oh, an example okay. here right <laughs> like <laughs> okay i don't i'm not sure that mm -hmm. we can separate that right i can like i can well you can but yeah. i'm saying that i think for men mm -hmm. and i don't want to speak for men but no. like oh, no, you're telling worry. them what you're, you're telling mm -hmm. them what your values are yes. when you say mm -hmm. i do this and i do that and i do this right like if i'm like they don't think that you're just performing per se. I make them because I make them comfortable. Like I will tell you everything up front. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna hide anything. I'm literally gonna show you everything up front. If you have any insecurities about what I do, if you have any questions, I'm like, look, babe, this is literally what I do. That's it. That's it. That's all. So that would just so we can run your argument to a totally separate mm -hmm. career path. Like that would be like me saying I sell crack to children, <laughs> right? <laughs> but I tell you that I sell crack to children, so my True. values are in I check because saying. I told you that I sell crack no, to children. Okay, so oh, let me also add, if I do get into a relationship, me telling you up front what I do, if you're not comfortable with that, I will not do it. If no, I, fine. I'm if not I saying I value that, like, you yeah. enough where I'm like, okay, he's worth it. But I also know what type of man that I can give up my part of my um, income for. Mm. But I'm, um, I'm just saying, how can you separate your values from what you do? Like, given that example I just gave easy. you. It's easy. I can't really explain it. It's just easy. I just don't get lost in that world of being a dancer, being trapped in the erotic world. I don't get lost in it. Like, I'm very, like, headstrong. So it's like, it's literally business. It's kind of like an actor. I can go on Seinfeld and be, or friends or whatever, and be an actor, but it's completely different at home, you know? So it's acting for me, to be honest with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. but I, and that's okay. it. Like... Yeah, so, and then at home, so, I cook, I clean, I so, will do all the things of mm -hmm. wifely duties or, you know, and I'm happy. They're happy. So you're basically just, you, in your mind, you're like, I'm just two different people. I am. I definitely am. Sabella and Etienne are two completely different people. Keep it a bean. What? In the club. Huh? In the club? I'm Sabella in the club. Right. At home, And I'm what are Etienne. Sabella's values? Does Sabella smash in Sab the club? No, absolutely not. Absolutely Never not. did. Not the cow. Yeah. Not Never. one time. Shut up. <laughs> Back room? Nothing? Never. No. Never. Ever. All right, Sabella. Never. We're going to find out whole facts. Go ahead. Go ahead. Make a phone call Go ahead. in the office. Go ahead. She one of them? All right, Go nigga. Ahead. Call me off. You want me to call? Oh, oh I, I, y'all took my phone. I was calling yeah. the office. But no, um, I've never done anything like that ever. Okay. okay. No, no. And that's cool. I mean, you already said that you're putting your career first, which is fine. I'm, yeah. just, I'm just wondering, like, if you're okay with the quality of man that's going to be left for you at the end of the road when you're done with your career have, and you're done prioritizing that. I have dealt with both shitty men and quality men. So it's like I've experienced both. And because of who I am, they understand that, okay, this is her career. This is what she chooses to do to make money.